Uh, well, good, good afternoon, everyone. The weather's just kind of held off a wee bit, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, but first off, um, let me just thank a few people. I'm going to say a few words, and I'm coming to see all of you because I've reliably been informed that you've all got me some cake. <laughs> yeah, better. Anyway, let me, let me thank a few people. I mean, this wouldn't have happened without aid... Zoe and Bill. So can I have a big round of applause for Aid Zoe and Bill? Uh, um, and, and also the events team, because whenever you've got people above a certain number, you need a master as an events team. And, the, and can I have a big round of applause for them, please? Thank you. Good. Right. Uh, I'm sorry I was a bit late. As I was walking up here, uh, I was, was stopped by some people and... Uh, they all said very sweet things, uh, and every now and then that's happened, actually that's happened a lot over the last couple of weeks. I'll let you into a giant secret that you can't tell anyone, so this is just our secret. And every now and then, uh, uh, as people stop and say, you know, Stephen, really appreciate what you did, sorry about what happened, etc., etc., they say, Stephen, if I'd known it so close, I would have voted. <laughs> yeah, trust me. I'm, after two weeks of this, there, there's a bit of the inner, the inner me that's beginning to want to go, boof. <laughs> but anyway, they said it, 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 was a, it was a fantastic journey, folks, it really was. It, it was eight years to get elected and five years as your MP, and I just loved it, I really did. It's a lovely town, it's a, a fantastic job, and, and every single minute of it was a, a real pleasure. Um, very soon after the election, a lot of people were saying, Stephen, you must run again, you must run again. And I, I kind of just wanted to put a hold on that for a bit so I could take a breather. So as my, my Facebook followers, you'll know that I put out on Facebook, well, you've got to understand that it, these things just can't happen. I've got a giant mortgage, etc., etc. Got to pay that, got to get a job. And then what happens is hundreds of people then so they want to start a crowdfunding to pay my mortgage, you know, which was just unbelievable. Uh, Shireen's much more practical than me, by the way. Shireen, my beloved, where's she gone? Shireen, darling, Shireen, she, she's the one who really deserves a round of applause. <laughs> Been my partner all through this whole journey, bless her. But Shireen very practically says, Stephen, take the money. I say, no, darling, I can't. That's not appropriate. Uh, so that's why I thought, Another thing we all know, whatever our politics is, whatever our views are, we all know are crucial for this town is, is the local hospital. We all know that that's been a real battle for quite a few years now. So that's why I kind of wanted to set up the Just Giving site for the Save the DGH campaign team because that battle's going to go on. Uh, by the way, Liz, where have you gone, Liz? There's a big round of applause for Liz Watt, by the way. Bless her. Liz. Uh, Liz, as, as many of you all know, chairs the campaign fund. I told her about it. She was on holiday with her husband, Dave, in Cornwall. And I said, listen, the town's been really kind, but rather than pay my mortgage, which is an, is an appropriate, I want to raise money for the campaign team because the battle's going to go on. And it's going to go on for a few years, to be honest. And the good news, the Just Giving site's already raised 1,200 quid. So thank you so much for the many, many donors uh, who are here today. But what I'm also going to do is the events team are just going to be walking around for the next hour or so with the Save the DGH buckets, uh, because it will be wonderful over the next today and the last 20 days or so of the Just Giving site. If we can reach 1,500, that's brilliant. I can then give it all to... Liz and the campaign team will get banked and that means that your contributions, my contributions and the key part of fighting for our hospital keeps going and keeps being funded for a few years. So that's what those guys coming around with buckets, it's not for my mortgage, it's for the campaign team. Finally, right. I've been absolutely bowled over by the kindness and generosity of so many people since the election. It was an incredible journey 
for me the last few years. And to represent a town like this with so many people who I knew and then many people I didn't know was just such a privilege. I just loved it. And I wouldn't have changed that for anything. And for you lot to schlep up here on a blooming Sunday afternoon, you know, to have a picnic just to, you know, show appreciation what I've done, that's nothing. I'm, I've turned up because I just appreciate so many of you. And I appreciate this town. And I appreciate the opportunity you gave me to be your MP for five years. So, folks, the honour is mine to have served you. Thank you very much. I'm coming out for cake. Thank you. Woo!